Yes, uh, welcome to the lighter side of the dark side. It's your Thursday Night Freak Show, and I'm surrounded by the uh, the past and the future and the present. I have uh, Nicole Six, my beautiful co-host. you want to say hello, everybody? Hello. And sitting across from me, uh, wearing a, a very nice dress, uh, my original co-host, you know, when I started the show in 2000. And look who's come in. Hello. It's Jesse Dubai, beautiful star, adult star. Yes, you come on. Have a seat over there. Uh, have a seat over there, and uh, have a seat next to Hell's Bell. <laughs> yes, that's right. And, and you brought you brought a special guest too. Yes, I brought my girlfriend. That's your girlfriend. Very Hi. nice. <laughs> let me uh, let me uh, uh, go ahead and uh, or actually Nicole, if you can sort of uh, if we can kind of get Swap. everybody. Yeah, we, we're gonna have we're gonna <laughs> need a little scooch. space later uh, for your first. Trying to get them all in. Well, okay, so I um, guess no. Jenny's gonna do it. Jenny's gonna do okay. it. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, so I, I was. Uh, when I started the show in 2013, Jesse, the, the wonderful, beautiful woman to your left, Hell's Bell, was my original co-host. And we got into all sorts of fun shenanigans. She danced on the table <laughs> for the guitar player from Ministry and the guitar player for The Temptations. We, uh, she, uh, what else did you do? You, uh, oh, you, you gave me a lap dance once. I did splits. You did splits. You did, uh, you were painted like a clown. You yes. got choked. And also, you know, this is all in, this is... You were on maybe less than 10 shows, probably five or six. That's <laughs> all that happened. I completed that all. In it's always, you want to make sure, you got to get the mic a little closer now. And ne and the guy that's uh, frantically working uh, to Hell's Bells left, and we're going to get into this, is her new boyfriend. <laughs> I, this is a match made in fetish heaven. <laughs> I've known these two separately for a long time, and I don't know when they met, but he's the master of feathers. I don't know if you saw some of the pictures I posted. This is Cyrus. Cyrus? Hey, how you doing, Mark? Uh, the, the <coughs> Jesse Dubai and Jesse's girlfriend. Your uh, Jesse's girl. What is your name? Uh, I'm Savannah Thorne. So, yeah, Savannah Thorne. Okay. Yes. Oh, Jesse's girl. Yeah, that's yes. Je that's Jesse's <laughs> girl. <laughs> anyway, so we might as well get into it. We're going to start. Today with, by the way, go to Do Me Some Cooking. Go to Audible if you go to DarkMarkShow.com, and I'm going to post uh, coupons tomorrow for <laughs> AdamandEve.com and AdamMail.com because we're sponsored by both. Adam and Eve is Hell's Bell uh, undoubtedly knows. The number one adult toy store on the net. Mm -hmm. Adam mm -hmm. Mail, the number one gay adult toy store on the net. And I'm not really sure what the difference is, but we'll, we'll have uh, details on vibrators all over the place. Jesse <laughs> Devine, I've been doing a lot of research on you. Have you? I, oh did, I didn't know you had a girlfriend. Well, first off, you're from Colorado. Yes. And you still live in Colorado. I still do. Me too. You, you know oh, who you used you to? You do? You, oh, girl, we, we, we need to meet sometime. We, <laughs> we, used to, we, used to, we used to both live in Westminster, Colorado. Oh, nice. And not at the same time. Not at the same time. It was a whole, <laughs> it's, it's a whole thing. But uh, and, so, and you still live in Colorado. Yes, I always come home. So I how, don't know. How do you get into the adult business being in Colorado? I, did, I mean, San Fernando Valley, we know how that goes. But mm. is there a big, like, adult, like... Not at all. That's why it was hard for me to, like, achieve. And for me, it's, like, still amazes me that I've gone to where I've gone, like, coming from Colorado, because there's no adult industry, especially for transsexuals. Right. There is a big company, I think, in Boulder. Everyone keeps telling me that, but I'm like, I never heard about it. Well, I didn't either. Uh, Did uh, you? I, I, oh, by the way, uh, <laughs> by, by the way, Jesse Dubai is transsexual. I don't know if you're... Oh, you, yes. a, you got the best so, of both yes. worlds. You got yes. beautiful <laughs> movies. A wonderful feminine body, and uh, you got a dick. Yes, yes, it, I know this. Just for functional, just put it in it. No, just give it. I, I, oh, oh. I, I, no, she's a part of the Mile High Club. I've heard this. I've I, I've I've heard the stories. I did the research. <laughs> yes. Yes. So and so, it, 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 is that ever coming off, or is that staying on? Well, if it's fully functional, why get rid of it? Exactly. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Before I was into porn, or before I was sexually active with my friends. I wanted to, like, have sex, just be a girl, you know? Well, sexually active with your front? Yeah, like, I was always a girl. Like, I, it, like my relationships was, like, me giving oral and then, like, bending over. And that was me. That was, like, what I thought I was supposed to do. Like, what I liked to do because that's that, what I that, wanted. That's what, that's, what, that's what all the girls I date tell me what to do. That's, that's what they tell me to do. <laughs> that's not what you're supposed to do? I guess there's more to it because yeah. then once I started, like, experimenting with, like, yeah. more guys that are like, no, now you do right. me, I was like... <gasps> Oh, I can do that? Really? <laughs> okay. Look and at then I started Look at that trying. smile. Look at that. I know, right? And I was like, okay, like, I like this. So, I don't know, maybe down the road, once I'm tired of it, once I already got the most fun out of it, I'll be like, I guess I'm ready to settle down and just, you know, relax my life as a full, completely woman. 
Okay, well, let me know when that happens. We'll get the surgery at the same time. Meanwhile, <laughs> I said, I said, I, I said, talked about your dick. We already have a caller. Caller, oh, you're on the line for Dark Mark Show. What's going on? Hey, how you doing? Who is this? Uh, this is Keith from New York. You know Keith from New York? Hi, Keith. How are you? Well, uh, on Twitter, I'm, um, I'm my handle is I'm tight. Uh, say that again. His hands on my something. Handle I don't on know. Twitter yeah. is I am tight. Okay. His I handle on Twitter. Twitter. His handle on Twitter is he's tight. Okay. His uh, handle on Twitter is that he's tight. And let me <laughs> ask you this: How tight are you? <laughs> oh, just check your protege's last. Uh, I just posted a, a video on your protege's uh, 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 Twitter of me taking one of my toys. Oh, I have to go and check it out. Yeah, He's tight. He might know the difference <laughs> between Adam Male and Adam. Probably does. You might know. How about if you tell us from the toys that you have tried, which one makes your butt like stretch more and which one helps it, you know, keep it tight? I, I, I like the stretch. The best thing about me is that I bounce back pretty fast. So, uh -huh. I, you know, I'll take the stretch, I'll take the little bit. That's what they all say. Uh huh. What's the biggest thing you have shoved up there? Uh, must be my uh, my nine inch by three inch. Really? Don't tell me that I can be you fisting myself. Oh my gosh! I thought you guys were better than me. I'm because I'm learning from my fans. A lot of the things that my fans do that they tell me they like doing, I'm like, oh, yeah. I want to know why they like. It. So I'm gonna go <laughs> and try it myself. Right. And I can't believe like I'm better at like. You know, I, I can fix myself. Hey, Keith, what would you like Jesse Divide to do to you? Every single thing imaginable. I just want to be tired. Really? Up. So that means that if I want right now, I can just show up in your house, throw you in the ground and the floor and just like start riding your face, shove my cock dip in your throat. Uh, maybe Thank flip you Christmas over morning. and shove my cock there. Just spit on it. Not even loop. Make it hurt. Would you like that? Christmas morning. Uh, that like turn Christmas. you around and just fuck you hard, uh, like a little bitch, while that, I stroke your cock that, until that I make you come. Like Christmas. Uh, is that what that you like? Christmas. Well, you know where to look for me, and you know how much I charge. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. No, but Christmas everything is real. Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas to everybody. He's going to make it snow. I, I think. He's, I think. Right. He's, uh, <laughs> trying to get you to follow me on Twitter but you never Oh do. my god well if I haven't followed you maybe it's because I can't follow more people but I will go and follow you right now uh, you will be looking at my Twitter right now. Your page and send me a message. And uh, actually, I just, I just, uh, I just, I'm gonna write on the posting right now uh, to me that call that you just follow. Oh, uh, that's okay. So Thank you, because I have like so many. That's the thing on uh, with people that sometimes when they talk to me, I have so many people telling me like, I'm talking to you on Twitter, and there's so many people talking to me on Twitter that it's really my, hard to mix and match is, is like a, which one goes with what. But if you my send Twitter me, my picture is a picture of me. In the white thong and a, and a fishnet stockings. Perfect. And his handle is Let's I am stop. tight. And his handle is <laughs> I am tight. I will, hand, I will look for I am tight. I'm going to tweet you right now. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, tweet me and I will follow you right now. All right, Keith. Uh, I'll, call you, I'll try to call back again if I can get you. Of course. We'll be waiting for uh, your call. Hi, my love. My mm. Bye -bye. Thanks for Thank calling. You. Thank you wow. for calling. And now he he just came. And so uh, <laughs> Hell's Bell, oh and, and this is Hell's Bell and, and Cyrus. I've known you two separately for a long time. Yes. And you, Hell's Bell, <laughs> were just about to give up on men altogether. Yes. And uh, your last trip in, in L.A. Now, when did you two first meet? I've actually known him for um, over a year. Right. And how we met is... Um, I don't know. You can tell the story. It's an unusual story. With <laughs> you two, I'm not surprised. <laughs> no, it's not like that. It just it it was from a bad point to a good point, and that's where we're at right now. Something right. that grew. So, but I've I me personally, I've known him for like over a year. Right. Yeah. It, it was. It, it's a really unusual story because we worked or performed in the same clubs and venues, right. and I've, I'd never met her out, right. out there. So, you know, you, I, you noticed her. No, I've never seen her. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, saw, I saw the pictures after she friended me on Facebook, and then uh, some time went on, and then um, some stuff happened, and I just started talking to her um, right. because she was going through a hard time, and I had gone through similar injuries and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we just started talking from there, you know, right. and 
we and we grew a friendship and she yeah. I was gonna say it sounds like a nice healthy relationship <laughs> <laughs> as, as, as nice Based and healthy. mutual respect and admiration two, two, between yeah two, it actually happened in a good way <laughs> <laughs> between two very sexual very freaky very uh, well that only makes it more fun <laughs> exactly and uh, so I mean so it just recently uh, it just recently blossomed into a relationship. I know because they post it on Facebook five times a day, every day. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Which will tell you. That's his fault. <laughs> and, and trust me, from from uh, I mean, from people. I mean, the, the sex must be mind blowing. I would imagine between the two of you. Right. When we can think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, but, uh, but beyond. But uh, and uh, Cyrus is uh, is the master of feathers. Now, last time you were on the show, a couple things I forgot to ask about the feathering and. Uh, have you seen the? Fe I mean, I showed you the picture, but have you seen it live in the clubs? I have actually. Um, I don't. Well, I go to a lot of different fetish parties like you do. Although we're rarely at the same ones, and when we are, we take a selfie. So you always know if me and Mark have been at the same party. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I've seen his work. Yes. Yeah, so it's uh, if you've been to any fetish party in LA you, and you see women walking around with the feathers, you've seen his work. Women and men. I mean, he. You love the bald head. You love all that stuff. Oh yeah, I love and, giving head. And there's, there's, a, <laughs> there's a whole line of there's people. No meaning to it. But you started. You started with. <laughs> now you're using what type of feathers now? Uh, pheasant quills. I started with ostrich um, and turkey feathers. Right. Uh, grew out of that quick. I think pheasant uh, quills have the best ones. The, str the straight ones uh, are nice, but I've also incorporated using the longer curved plumage, and right. it goes well on the front, like in the breast, and then over the shoulders. Right. And, and but but and, and uh, you know we we went over this a little last time but I mean you've been you've just sort of you saw a needle play and you decided to, to just add things to the needles yes make it yeah. a little prettier yeah I started out um, with just your standard needle play you know you you put the needles in and then maybe you put some ribbon around it and it, it's been an evolution uh, I want there was to me there was always has to be something a little bit more to it something right. to make it a little bit more artistic or a little bit more showy because just the ribbon was boring. Right. Did did uh, did he put feather feathers on you before you started going out, Els? Not yet. No, you've never done it. She's a virgin. This is the first time, and you he's saved it for my, my show. Yeah, he's gonna pop you my, pop my share share in the show. <laughs> well, why don't why don't we why don't we do that? Uh, and I am sorry that I mean I didn't mean to do it so early, but I'm sorry we were late. That was completely my fault. <laughs> Just rush why, right in there. Why don't, <laughs> if you guys are ready, why don't we start and All so right. people know what we're talking about, and we'll talk to Jesse and and Savannah. Was it? Yes. Savannah. Yes. Yes. Savannah. So how did you meet Jesse Savannah? Oh my God. Well, okay, I'm gonna try to make a long story short. Okay. Um, Does it include stretch assholes? No. Oh my God. Well, no. Well, kind of, yes. yes. <laughs> but um, <laughs> we'll talk about it. Okay. So without interruptions, because. Oh, uh, okay. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll try. I will lose track of like okay. side of my. Well, okay. well, bear in mind, they're gonna. He's gonna be sticking needles in her right next oh to me. Yeah, you can't get me too and I would just like to remind <laughs> everybody that I am terrified of needles, so I won't oh, be watching the, you that. Take the headphones off too. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We don't. We don't need the top on. Okay. Yeah, no, you can take the top off, uh, Hells. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Yes. Yes. Oh, there we go. Oh wow. Yeah, no, they're very impressive. <laughs> oh, as always. Okay, here. Please it, continue the, your story. Relax, like, okay. Okay. Let, let me tell you a story. We, yeah, just, we, just, we just got let distracted. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> so, a year ago, on uh, June 18, 19th, I met this amazing guy. His name is Michael Johnson. And I was in the love bubble. And I, was, I couldn't believe it that I was a porn star. I was... I had a boyfriend and he was hot and he liked me. He was he would do anything for me. Well, was, was, was it was his uh, Twitter handle? Uh, I am tight. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, honey, he's so <laughs> turns out that when he when we were in the love bubble, he was dating her. He ended up dumping her, and then uh, almost months later, nine months, ten months later, he decides that his feelings are not you know, 100% with me, but he never told me. So then I talked with her, I, I, I caught him, and this was the crazy thing. That's why I took a sabbatical, and, a sabbatical, and I took a break from all of the, from everything, because I needed to, like, first fix my heart. Because right. it, was, it was very hard to perform. That's the hardest thing you could ever do. Try to perform and do porn when you have a broken heart. Oh. Well, it's really hard. Especially mm -hmm. when you have oh, to get erect. God. Exactly. So for me, it was heartbreaking that I couldn't, like, I, I was trying to perform and he was in my mind. I couldn't. Oh. It was when the TEA Awards that night of that I won Best Transsexual Performer of the Year. Right. 
I caught him talking with her. Oh, <laughs> Michael yeah. Jackson. And when, I, and when I confronted him, he said it was a sister, blah, blah, blah. I, I wanted to kill her. <laughs> I wanted to chop oh, her head off. Me. I hated her. But it was until, and I was stuck in here in LA for like a week. And then he, that same, the same na that night, he left back to Denver. So we were a week uh, aside. When I get back, it was just like, I couldn't, I talked with her. I I got her phone number and I was like, we need to talk. Once we started talking, we figured out that her love story and my love story was the same. Like the same words, the same Michael romance. Michael Johnson's the a player. Same yes. thing. I was like, <laughs> oh, fuck him. And then the more <laughs> we started, he's like, now if things are going to go like this, like this, like this. And everything she told me, everything started to fall into place. And then when she started telling me that she wanted to be a model, but he suppressed at her and started to change her. I was like, my revenge. <laughs> I am going to undo your job. This is I am like, going this. to bring her out of the shell where you put her. And if she wants to be a model, I am going to make her a model. So now that she told me that she wants to do porn, I told her I'm going to mentor you. Because it doesn't, I don't need to teach her how to have sex. I need to teach her how to keep her posture, how to keep not, you know, not, not, not be stressed about doing the right. porn, how to prepare before the scene, how to prepare the night right. before the scene, all that stuff. So when she told me that she wanted to do that, I was like, let's do it. Let's right. forget about that asshole right. and do this amazing story. And by the way, if you want to teach me how to have sex, I'll, I'll be all, all I'll up for that. You. Of course. But, but no, but this is like, this is like a, a naughty X-rated Lifetime movie. Well, guess what? Just, there are many porns with similar plots. No, no, <laughs> guess what? Guess why I, I mean, how many, how many, tra how, how, how many, how many uh, transsexuals were was Michael Johnson fucking? Oh my god! Many. Uh, later, 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 later. Once we we broke up, like separate, like we never saw, we haven't seen each other ever since. Right. I started finding out about this one and this one and that one and that one and that one and that one. I was like, I need to stop talking to people. Right. Like it's just hurting. And uh, it, the, what's going? I mean, I didn't think those breasts could he be even more beautiful, but oh, oh my goodness! Are, 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 are you into needles? Are you a little scared? Maybe? I have tattoos, but right. every it's time different. I go, it's different. Every time I go get um, tested, it's like I don't know. No, 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 no it's um, for me. It's I can't even look at it. It's the uh, the penetration because it sits underneath the skin. Oh my god! Because mm. like I have tattoos also, but I'm terrified of needles. But 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 but, but, but let me tell you so what he's doing. And he 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 went over this last time. He was. In, I mean, he he changed his gloves already once, at least. Uh, he's 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 he studied medical science. He's he he actually was in the hospital and had to research things uh, to help heal himself. And based on this, he's uh, he's very very careful. That's why the pizza box to keep everything sterile. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, <laughs> how, how is that? How do you feel with that? Uh, uh, Hells, is that uh, how? Uh, all you ever thought thought it would be? Yes, and okay. more. Okay, so so we're gonna, we. So wait, 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 he's 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 changing oh his he's changing his gloves again. He's the the, the guy. Uh, oh my god! And this is what he does at the clubs. There's a line of women and men to see what he does, Just waiting to be club. penetrated. And, and, but he always <laughs> he, he always has alcohol. He always has gloves. He always makes sure that everything's sterile. He never <laughs> uses like, needles. Really? I don't know. I can't do that. My implants will pop. <laughs> well, He's got implants. Yeah, He's got implants yeah, too. Oh, well, speaking of tattoos, mm -hmm. I was wondering: is, is there any way you could? Uh, stand up, and I know this is an like awkward moment, around? and show the oh, eyes. Oh, oh. Eyes. <laughs> okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But maybe this is not a good time. Hold on. Uh, it, it, let's let's give them some space here. Uh, you guys want to switch? Over there yeah, you guys do your thing first. So you're back. He's gonna be like a little boob angel. I see, I see. I see the feathers are set again. So okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I, like, uh, I'm the worst traffic cop ever. Like everything happened. <laughs> Well, you're saying you're, you're going like that, but your nipples are hard. Let me see the eyes. I want to. Oh my god! I know. I just he had to point that out. I'm like, right, right, right. can I see? Can I see the? Can we see the eyes? Look at that. That's cool. Talk oh about god. tattoos. Are we getting that on camera? Yeah, that's that's. I mean, that, first yeah. off, yeah, that's. I'm you work. You work out. You do some sit ups. I do. Yes. Every time I have sex, of course, I have to do my sit ups. <laughs> right, right, right. But I mean, it's a. I know exactly. It's what you mean. Uh, but you have got the eyes, um, and I've heard a couple people online uh, uh, describe that as uh, a little creepy. Savannah doesn't think it's creepy, but it's. Uh, Why is it creepy? I've always said. They well, there's a dick coming people. out of your face, basically <laughs> above your crotch. Well, the thing is that think about it. 
My, <laughs> my dick is watching you. My, no, no, no. My point, the way I got it, the reason I got it was like, I need a tramp stamp. I don't need a sexy tattoo. If I'm going to be a porn star, I need a sexy tattoo. I already have a tattoo in the back. How about one that says something like, I don't know, boner garage or something, you know? <laughs> enter then, here. Yeah, enter here or like, you know, what, what's in the, or something. What's, the, what's in the back? A mullet? I mean, what, what's, what is going on in the back? Is that the back of your head? Or? No, it's uh, <laughs> no, it's just the um, sun and the moon. Just the, Oh, the typical sun and the moon, yeah. Got just that. a simple eclipse. So right. I decided to do something that, you know, will call the attention, right. will be a icebreaker, pretty much. That's how I said it. And tell me, isn't that an icebreaker? <laughs> uh, yes, uh, it, uh, in some respects, yes. You're, you're, you're from Mexico. You're half Mexican, yes. half Colombian. Yes. But how do you go from Mexico to Colorado? Well, my dad was the one that got here when I was very young. And he brought me when I was about 10 years old to study here in the United States. Mm -hmm. And it was the best decision he could have ever taken to bring right. me here because uh, I would have I, never done uh, like all the things that I've done back in my I'm sure I'm sure he's proud. Is he proud? He's really he's really proud. He's really my dad's gay. Um, okay. So and right now I'm like uh, I'm well, apparently really there was happy. an exception at one point. Yes, I'm really happy that you know he got married and everything. But when I started into porn, he said, so are you ready to do it? Like, are you sure? Like about the future, think about this, think about that. Right. He saw that I was 100% sure. And I was right. like, oh, just when you decided to be a transsexual, once you sit on the mule, nobody puts you down. Like nobody brings you down. So if you want to go for it, go for it. And right. all he does, he's like, you will never believe what I saw at the store today. What? Look, I purchased your DVD. <laughs> And he will well, that's a little creepy. Me. I don't know. No, like, my dad has a lot of friends in the, you know, like the bookstores and oh, stuff put, like you, that. You don't have to put that on. I don't okay. want to mess with your fathers. But I, and I, I don't, and I, I'm listening to what you're saying, and I will get back to that. Yeah. And I don't want to take the, the, the uh, attention away from you. But can no, you stand but, up and show oh my parade God. what this the beautiful, beautiful stuff oh Cyrus is on? <laughs> Do a little turn. Oh. Look at that. Oh, uh, uh, unbelievable. Yeah. Now, talk about a picture. That's oh, wow. Uh, oh, you're all right? Wow. Uh, you got that? I got to get the behind. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Turn back yeah. around. Let me get your little. Yeah, don't, I like uh, it from the back even yeah. more. Yeah, the don't, like, yeah, don't. Don't let Cyrus hear so it. He's, he's <laughs> just want to take it from oh, behind. That's his behind. <laughs> yeah. That's mine, baby. Oh, yeah. That's very nice. And uh, yeah, good for yeah, you. Yeah, I can't see from the behind, so you'd have to tell me. So, so, so that was your first time getting feathered. So how was it? Absolutely awesome. Uh, did you get uh, sexually aroused? Because we've had a little debate on whether it's an arousal Anytime or not. Anytime he touches me, I get aroused. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the, well, every time he touches me, I get aroused too. But, it's, uh, <laughs> but I mean, it's, wait a minute, are we going to fight on this? No, 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 you got him. It's okay. No, trust me. <laughs> I'm all for the love story. So, and and, and w uh, just to expand on what you were talking earlier, you've both had, um, you both had a car accident. You're in your case a motorcycle accident, and it was funny because I was wondering how you guys bonded. And uh, right when you said it, it's like, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I know you were having a lot of uh, issues with your legs, and uh, and you, uh, I'm I, I mean, just help her out with that. Yeah, I identified with the trauma. I saw that, and I could hear it in her words in one of her Facebook posts. So we just, I just started messaging her, and um, I just started relaying my experience, my ordeal, how I went through my journey. Because right. I was trapped in a hospital bed for six months. You know, I right. couldn't move, couldn't do anything. All I had was right. one hand to use the computer. Couldn't even right. wash my own balls. Right. You know, I was just happy to have the male nurse come right. and wash my balls. That's how starved I was for <laughs> fucking human contact. Right, right, right. Well, <laughs> are we all? But uh, that, that's, are that's, we all? that's but uh, but I understand. So the, and it's it's and it's great. I, was, and I remember I told you I said you know she's she can be a bit of a handful. But uh, I'm a firecracker. So I know like, she's you're so tame tonight. I know he's like he's you, tamed the bees. You tamed Hell's him. Bell. You got to see when Hell's Bell's been on the show. It just it, all, all sorts of nutty things happen. She was bad from the, things happen to people. She actually was banned from, from the studio for over a year. Here. And we've, we've got her back. We love having her back. So beautiful. I, yeah, no, so beautiful and, and with the feathers. So uh, you just, and I'm, I'm glad you saved her for, for our show. I, I'm surprised. See, I, I was picturing you guys in the bedroom, you putting feathers on her like every day, every night, every day. Who are these? Oh, no, we, we have so many other things. options. That I'll, we, I'll, I'll, I'll bet you. I'll bet you. <laughs> we, we play with. So. Yeah, well, we did kind of blood bond already. She wears my blood around oh, her yeah, neck. Oh, you guys got I have, yeah, blood blood I have hers. Oh, wow. This, this is. This is crazy. And this is his cock. <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh uh, she, she's my property now, so oh. I have this color made for her. And the ring, yeah. I took the ring out of my cock after we 
baptized it, of course. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's not that's what that, closes yeah, it. Because I was going to say that's that. That was looking a little small, but that's not the now that's I not that's that not a like, cock mm. ring you put on the outside. No, of your that, that's my that's Prince the, Albert. <laughs> that's the one you had in your cock. Yes. Yes. Oh wow. Yes, that's the, no. He's you're. We but, baptized. But you still have other piercings in your cock, or, Oh yeah, I still got others down there. And, right, but that's one of the piercings that you had in your cock. Yeah. And oh, you just had to you had to remove. Ooh. Just how painful is that? That doesn't make it any less special. No, no, no. No, I didn't say ooh because it's disgusting. I said ooh like I'm picturing something coming on my cock and it's. Oh, it doesn't hurt. I could actually put a straw down there and she could drink her drink through my cock. Seriously? Has that happened? Oh my god. Can we see that? I know. Thank you, right? Can we? I was going to ask to see your cock, but it sounds like your cock is a lot lot more interesting. It's like, wow. You drink and I'll drink. (laughs) Whoa. So how, I saw the party. So how did so, <laughs> I know. Uh, now we need a real I'm, I'm wondering how did the uh, obviously that's a uh, pseudonym, as always. Everybody has a pseudonym here. Uh, how did how did you get Jesse to buy? How did that work out? Okay, <clears throat> so do, for me to buy, you know, it was uh, it's, it's a country. I, it's a city. City. I'm sorry. <laughs> city country. Uh, I was going to call my name Vegas, you know, because it it is kind of like the same ideology, but. I'm different. I go out of the box and not, not, not I go gen- for right? better. So the reason why my name is Dubai is because I've always been attractive. I've my the first uh, dances that I started doing was belly dancing. So I've uh, been attracted to the oh, culture really? belly and dance? everything. I'm a I'm a professional belly dancer as well. So Did you do all, a little belly dancing? Now? Of course. Oh, but let me finish this let, story let and then I'll <laughs> dance for you. Oh, like, good, because that, that's why you're not Jesse Four Collins. Uh, right, right. <laughs> no, um, the, Dubai used to be just an empty land, land, just a desert. And now it's one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Mm-hmm. I used to be an empty canvas. I used to be a simple Mexican boy. And now I'm this beautiful, stunning girl. Right. That's how I see myself. I grew, I evolved within right. time. That's why I'm not Vegas. I am something better. Right. The new Dubai. The new Dubai. <laughs> I got it. Very nice. So you, you you just thought you were an ordinary Mexican boy, but you knew you knew the woman was there. I could see it in there. Right. And all I need to do was pull but, but her you're, you're, out to show it to the world, and what? now the world sees it, and they fell they have fallen in love with her the way I fell in love with her when she was just inside. Right. And and, and uh, but but you were an attractive feminine Mexican boy. Thank you. Very hot. Well, I, I'm assuming. I don't know. <laughs> In Colorado. I, I would have been. <laughs> right. That, but, you know, you will always have those, I'm not hot enough, I'm not this enough, and we always want to, right. like, uh, no, 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 well, what you not, were not, saying. Not Nicole or no, Bell, but, but rest, actually yeah. what she was saying is very similar. I started, I viewed myself as a sculpture, and little by little I bring out the pieces of myself that I already saw on the inside. It's just a matter of showing the person I am on the inside to the outside world. So, mm-hmm. And by the way, that's that's a mov- moment of intelligence by <laughs> Nicole Six. We try to have one in every show. And go to NicoleSix.com uh, and Amazon.com and get her new book, Some Fucked Up Shit, a collection of <laughs> horror, horror stories. It's great. Would you do a little belly dancing? I'd love to see of that. Of course. So yeah. it's really easy. It's like... Well, with oh, those eyes. Yeah. Yes. yeah, the eyes move, right? 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 I mean, that's... Oh, you gotta be the point. Okay, we want to make sure we get, we're getting this on camera. Okay, great. I know. All right, it's what do you do when you belly dance? First, separate your body in three parts, okay. which is the hips, one side. They don't lie. Without moving your shoulders. Okay. You can do. Let me see, let me see if I can. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to follow you. One of my favorite oh, dances that, that? is dancing with a chandelier or a sword, though, because that's when you have to show the shimmer without shaking your shoulders. Look at that. Wow. Ah, yeah. ah. Very nice. See? Because I before I started, uh, thank you, thank ah. you. Before I started porn, I used to be a um, in drag shows and doing a lot of right, uh, you performances. Were I saw, burlesque. I read that. So um, I started do, since I was like, okay, I cannot be doing Shakira every weekend. Right. I cannot be impersonating her every single time. So I started taking dance classes. I started learning. So literally, I can say I went to school to become a drag. And, and how is the, the Colorado burlesque scene? Is it nice? Is it, is it a lot of people? Uh, not really there? burlesque. I wouldn't really a lot of more color of a drag burlesque. Thing? It's more of a drag. I was one of the ones that used to do burlesque mm-hmm. because... Most of the girls will, you know, use pads or like makeup and use like drag, which is beautiful because they change so much. I don't change a lot. Right. Like I go with my hair. I come out with just like Carmen Carrera. She comes out herself. Right. The only thing that I do is that I come out 
half naked because I have the body for it, sure. perform, and that's what I do compared to what I used to do before that. I will change my face completely. I will go from looking like Selena, three songs, go backstage, change the makeup. You have 15 minutes and then come out looking like Tina Turner, you know, mm -hmm. and then go backstage, change your makeup and come out looking like, I don't know, Celine Dion. It's, it's so There's no way you could look like someone. Well, of Dion. course not, but it's just giving you the... It's just an illusion. Right. Illusions. Yeah. So it's, it, it was really hard. And I, with that, I learned a lot about makeup. I learned about a lot of the stuff that I use here, like uh, ma makeup techniques when you do want to look fierce when yeah. you go on a scene. And a lot of the times you don't have makeup artists, so you have to be good at like making sure your makeup lasts right. enough. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no, Hillsville can relate, although you, you, the hickey's still there, so I don't know if you, you caught that. <laughs> but, but I think that's beautiful. When you have yeah. a hickey made out of love, it's like... Thank you, that's what we were just saying. <laughs> <It's not. laughs> it, Why do I have to hide it? There's a difference. I didn't say you had to hide it. I wouldn't hide it. There's a difference when you see, you know... <laughs> Just I mean, you're wearing a cock ring. Who cares? You're <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm wearing, yeah, exactly. I'm wearing a cock ring. Like, the, the, really? The, the inside <laughs> cock ring. So how did you get, what was your first, how did, what was your first scene and how did you get into it? My first scene was for King.com and it was for uh, Tia Seduction. And it was when that big scare happened, you know, that all production had to stop because I was the preparing. Condoms. Yes, I was preparing myself to like really go in. I was like, okay, finally I'm here. And I lost all this scare because we have gone through like the, the beginning of the story. And we're like, okay, we're ready for penetration. So Jesse, get hard, do this. And I was like ready on position. I was like, okay. And then they're like, <laughs> stop, come over here. And they're like, <laughs> Guess what? Uh, apparently, we, there has been a scare. We cannot do it right now. There's cannot be fluid exchange. Well, wait, wait a second. Well, you, you got all hard and they said no? And I was like, okay, that's fine. I was like, don't worry. We will give you a, a kill, um, a killer uh, pay fee or something. And I was like, okay, that's fine. We're so sorry. And then um, Tomcat, he's like, how about if you do a solo? We'll, we'll, we'll do it as a feature. And I was like, that's better because I don't have to share <laughs> screen with no one. It's just right. me. Well, no, no, I, no, I can see you, 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 you like the spotlight. Well, at first I was like scared because I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if they were going to put music. You or jerked anything. off before. But yes, but it's so different. It, uh, solos are totally different. Totally got to be different. Solos are different because a solo, I have to come up with a story. She has seen me ha have solos sex. Solos are different. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she saw me have sex like in camera the, uh, on Tuesday. She saw me do twice uh, on Sunday and Tuesday. So I don't mind uh, performing like, uh, like having sex in front of people when I'm doing a porn. Right. Because, you know, people is, is doing their own thing and, and whatnot. So I'm just like focused on what I'm doing with my partner. But when I when she was here with Eli Hunter and I was doing a solo, I was looking into the camera and I was like, do you like that? Yeah. You were looking at her? Yes. No, I was like looking at the camera and I'm like, do you want my tits? But you were yes. imagining her. No, no, no. <laughs> You're imagining me. I don't she know. She was what imagining was. the person oh, who was potentially you. watching at home, the I viewer. I was just touching myself, and I'm, like, thinking. I'm, like, trying to come up with the story, and I'm, like, do you like this top? And I was, like, remember that top that we got the other day? <laughs> I just <laughs> got this thing. Because it's, like, it's like I'm going with the story, and I lose track because there's, uh. like, it's just my own world. So it's better when I actually, ha when I do my solos, I actually write it, like, right. I, what I'm going to say. Right. And then if I go off the script, I go off the script. But at least I know something. Something that is there, you require just direction, a little bit. and there is no direction if it's just yourself. So you yes, just, thus yes. had to become your own director. So Savannah, are you, you're getting into the old adult thing now. You're gonna be doing solos too. Oh, I actually oh, she did one. Oh my goodness, day. my first solo and my first hardcore too. Oh, you did hardcore too. I did yesterday. Now define yesterday. define hardcore. Uh, that's when you have sex on camera with someone else. Okay, yes. but uh, I mean, because I, I thought yeah. hardcore was like DP or something like really. No, it's the difference oh, yeah. between softcore and hardcore porn. Yeah, oh, softcore yeah. is more like just. No, so, so just just soft just, porn is what you see on HBO. Yeah. Yeah. Hardcore okay, is okay. so so softcore is what I jerk off to, and hardcore is what everybody else does. <laughs> yeah. So you you you, 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 had, you had sex yeah. with a partner on camera. I did. Yes. Yeah, my first. Uh, Camera yeah. partner, so to speak. And 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 the other thing I was going to ask you, uh, Jess, we had we had uh, we had another uh, uh, transsexual uh, star in here. Um, you must have done a scene where you're fucking somebody, and that guy's fucking you, right? Yes. At the same time. Yes. Like the human centipede, is that what you yes. call it, or is there a different? <laughs> is there a different I, call name it, for it? I call it the train. No, human centipede train. is when 
everyone is eating each other's asshole and they go in a circle. You've done that? Just like the no, movie. No, but I would like to. I was just telling her. <laughs> well, let's do it. Let's come on. Okay. 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 I'm okay. Yeah. Have you ever, like, drove and have you ever, like, see a hot girl or... or Guy, I don't know whatever you're into this. I'm into girls. Honey. I'm into <laughs> I don't know what people's into. Although you look like a girl to me. I'm into everything now. I'm into like whoever loves me, I'm into that. I'm into I'm this into love. love. This is this is fantastic. This is beautiful. Oh, sorry. Like, sorry. Like, oh, don't, don't be sorry. It's just beautiful. But how many how many guys do you fool? You must fool all. I don't all, all, all fool. I, well, I, we do fool a lot of guys. Yeah. We both you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want to say sure. to fool How many guys anyone. do you surprise? Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I'm full surprise. Because the, the owner of Skid Row Studios was surprised when I showed him another picture of you. <laughs> I know well, several of my friends were like, oh my gosh, she's so fucking hot. Yeah, well, but the interesting thing about it is, I would say probably a quarter of the people are like, huh. yeah, <laughs> no, they um, just go with it. There, yes, I already put it in my head that there's two reasons why will people will talk to me. Either one, they like me, and two, they're harassing and hating on me because they like me. And I'll explain. <laughs> <laughs> I'll explain. There was a, me and her, we were walking in the fashion district, you know, shopping around because she wanted to go and check it out. I was like, let's go nice walk person. around. Nice. And then this guy, you know, go, walking down with his girlfriend, literally yells out, those are men. Oh my gosh. Like I said, calm down, please. Come on, namaste. Let it go, let it go. Oh no, I can't, motherfucker. I turn around and I'm like, but I'm hotter than your wife. Oh, and then the ladies, the ladies down though, like the, all the ladies at the stores, they were like, you go, Mika. Yes, you're right. You go, Mika. You tell him. Yeah. They're, yell, they're yelling at you in the wrong neighborhood, that's for sure. Exactly. So it's kind of like, uh, I already figured out if yeah. you're harassing at me, it's because you like me, but just mm -hmm. to make yourself look strong straight you're gonna go with like oh i don't like that exactly. i think that if you're straight you can come to me and tell me i think you're very beautiful not what i'm into but i acknowledge your beauty and that's a real straight man to me right. a gay guy will tell me oh girl you're fierce i love your look um gay guy in the closet will be like fuck that shit i don't like none of that Ugh. but then <laughs> later he will be texting and calling me exactly looking for me I like you. <laughs> Thank you, Poppy. You're beautiful. Aww. Not what I'm into. <laughs> like anyway, when does the time 100% go? true. Uh, Cyrus and Hellsbo, I'm sorry we didn't have more time to talk. Oh, there's so no much problem. more to this beautiful story. But thank you. You're back. The band is lifted. You can come anytime. Cyrus, Yay. it's always great to see you. When are you going to be doing the feathers again in the club? I don't know. I don't have any scheduled date yet. Okay. But if people want to get a hold of you, it's uh, Morgan Deegan on Facebook? Yeah, right there. Okay. And uh, Hell's Bell. How do people get a hold of you? Therese Michelle Bell on Facebook. Yeah, they took away the Hell's Bell name, those bastards. Well, I my Hell's Bells is my entertainment name, so they can find me either way. There you go. It's great to have you. It's great to see the two hosts finally, because you met Josie, you met Josie. we got to get the three of you in there sometime. Uh, and Jesse Dubai. Yes. Charming, beautiful, loves the spotlight. <laughs> Doesn't want to share the spotlight, yeah, but loves it. <laughs> How do people get a hold of you? Of course, you can follow me at uh, Twitter, Instagram, or Tumblr at TS Jesse, or just Google me. Or if it's easier, just go to jessedubai.triple X or my new website that I'm launching, jessedubai.triple X.com. That's what I was going to say. What are we going to find at jessedubai.triple X.com? Uh, when or well, where? What are we going to find? What are you going to mm. find? You're going to find pretty much my modeling portfolio. Everything about me, my blog, what I'm doing with her, how I'm teaching mm. her. Everything like behind the <laughs> scenes of like right. how am I turning her into what I've done. Because you know that when in this industry, sometimes you run into like brick walls and I don't want her to go through that. So it's right. like, I'll show you the ropes and no, then you, you can you show like, other you girls. like Michael Johnson. Yes. Uh, yes. Savannah, how do we get a hold of you? You can find me at Twitter at Savannah Thorne one because I'm number one. Okay. <laughs> and you can also find me at her web website too. Yes. Oh, okay. Savannah, we're going to have to have you in by yourself. Uh, yes, and, so, and Jesse, you know, it's a can... pleasure pleasure meeting you. I wish we had more time. I'm sorry I'm late. What a great show. And Nicole, so plucked up shit, Nicole6.com, <laughs> gothcomedian.com. Come check out my show tomorrow night, Hollywood French Festival, if you're listening to this live, 1030, Complex Theaters. Everyone have a wonderfully creepy week. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.